Hi guys. Yep. Another day, another day on the caravan. Yes. I love the days on the caravan. It's like, don't get me wrong, I like spending time with my family, but I love working on the caravan. Um, and I get to um, film with you guys. So that's pretty cool too. Um, I am using my Xperia again, um, mainly because I forgot to charge my GoPro. Uh, but I've got that charging in the caravan at the moment uh, via one of its USB ports, which is pretty cool. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to cut this piece here, which I actually found in a skip, which is pretty handy. I didn't have to go buy it. Uh, for the base of the uh, bench seat in the caravan. So I will be doing that now. And I've left the saw in the caravan. Man, I'm a drongo. Uh, all right, I I will be back. Okay, back now. Uh, got my saw. Uh, so I will measure this out, cut it up, and then we'll take it to the caravan. How's that? one-handed doing everything else is difficult okay Mighty gap. Did I not, not measure it right? It's not a huge problem, it's just I would prefer not to have one. And I will just double check. This is why I suppose you'd measure twice, cut once. That's okay. That's no big deal. That's not a problem at all. Okay, now. So, one of the pieces that I just cut off, I will use here. Five by 
probably not going to be but I'm hoping the other piece over there over near the, the um, trailer is going to be at least 890 high um, and then that'll do my two cupboard doors on the on the on the thing on the kitchen so anyway better get measuring
What am I doing? Okay, what I'm doing is I'm now going to start, start putting some of the trimming across the back in the bedroom because I couldn't find a door for that and um, I don't have anything quite wide enough. Um, I took all of the handles off the old kitchen so they look like that. Pretty snazzy looking things. They just need a bit of a clean. But I'm not going to put those on for a while. I also found these little great little like rack things. So I'm probably going to use one in the bathroom uh, for a hand towel and the other one uh, out here for another hand towel. Uh, I recut that piece that was underneath the, the oven. Uh, that's all now the right size. Uh, so I thought I would do some of the trimming around the back, try and get some of the bedroom or the bed finished. Um, and then I'll move back towards this way. Um, I've got to buy a couple of things, but you know, it's like any time, it's always short on cash. But you know, whatever, that's just the way things go. I have forgotten the size of this back wall. This board that you can see that I've got my saw on is actually going to be the table for well, the table. Again, this uh, piece that I'm cutting now, um, I was able to get a whole bunch of stuff out of a skip. Uh, there was a uh, big factory that had been renovated recently, um, and this is just their leftover stuff, so hooray for me. I was able to pick up some stuff, including the face of the, uh, the table there, for really cheap. really cheap, I mean, free, for free.
straight down. Down there. So. And then I will do one across there, one across there, one across there. So I'm going to use big fat pieces. Maybe I should do those first. I should do those first. So that bit there, that bit there, that bit there. I'll do them first. Yeah. Hey guys. Uh, so yeah, sorry I um, did a bit of stuff without actually filming it. Uh, so I had lunch in here. Uh, that was actually pretty nice. Uh, it was just cereal, it wasn't anything special, but um, <clears throat> I filled in the the corner frameworks and stuff um, and put a, a piece up the top there. Um, it's still not super pretty, like I still have to put in um, a putty and little things just to fill in the tiny tiny gaps but yeah other than that um, that back bit there is pretty much done uh, I just have to do the windows uh, around the window frames and a piece up the top there some of this flashing across there and then across there uh, this side I'm just gonna wait until I've built the cupboard for here um, I've just now, only just now, put up a piece up the top here. So, um, I'm, I'm about to solder up the lights so I can stick them back and then permanently mount them. Again, not quite permanently mount them because I've still got paint and whatnot, but, um, yeah. So that's, that's what I've been doing. Um... I have got some more batteries on charge. My solar panel is charging quite well. He says he can see quite well. Um, and yeah, once I've done that, then I'll have those up there. I've got the, I'll connect them. And then I will put this light here up under here, the same as that one there. So that's what I'm doing now. Cool. Hey guys, so, okay, so what have I done, what have I done? I've put this up, I've put the lights in, I've installed this light properly, so now, they're both the same and they light up the kitchen just nicely. Um, and just to show you, yep, these ones work too, and the back one, um, right, there's also one on the toilet. I've also decided to put something like this on and this can be my my trophy wall so for example if we go somewhere and it has a cool sort of plaque or something I can chuck it on here and I will get a bit of perspex and put it over the front just to keep it all nice and pretty um, what else I've Put the two bits of timber in behind this, ready for uh, ready for um, hinges to go on, and then once that's on, then that door will be fine. That's ready to have a piece, and I'm just about to go find a piece to cut and put in that little gap down the bottom there. Um. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Not a lot has happened other than that. That's actually taken up quite a lot of time. Oh, I fixed up. There was a, a bit in the back here that wasn't quite supported yet, which I'd completely forgotten about, and I've now <gasps> fixed that. Uh, I don't know what else to move on to. I think I'm just going to go get that little piece down the bottom there. I'll go do that, and then... I'll be able to figure out what's next. Yeah. 
Oh, I might put some shelves in here. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll put some shelves in here. Yeah, that's a plan. This is where the shelves are going to go. So I'm going to put some shelves here. So one, two, maybe, th maybe two shelves. And then the rest is going to be, there's going to be a rack here and we can hang up, hang up our clothes. So yeah, my battery is about to die. It's blinking at me, but I've had my other one on charge. This is a, not the original case. So it's going to be a fight to get it out, but you know, whatever, whatever. I've got to keep you guys informed. So that's, that's, that's that bit. Cool. Bye. Hey, hey, alrighty, so I did that bit that I said I was going to do, that little bit down the bottom there, that's all done, um, slowly starting to run out of steam to be honest, just a little bit dirty on that lens there, um, but yeah, other than that, I've done uh, some ceiling around the top here for the, for the ceiling, um, and uh, once that's dry, oh, you know, I filled up that hole that was there. Uh, so once all that's dry, all that uh, ceiling stuff, I'll be able to start putting on some, some primer paint and stuff like that. Uh, but until then, I've still got to do the the window edges. Um, and uh, yeah, once I've got those window edges done, I can start thinking about putting some primer on. Now, there is a gap down here, I don't know how I'm going to fix that. Anyway, I've seen you making this side like the bed head side, which originally was going to be over there, but I think I'll make this over here the bed head. Side. And I can put in like uh, some shelves, shelves there. Yeah, I might do that actually. I'll put in some shelves, just some small ones, not, not very deep ones, just ones like that. So I can put in like uh, I don't know, like you know, mobile phone. I can maybe even put in a couple of decorative thingy bobs. Um, didn't end up putting any shelves in here yet, just because, like I said, I'm running out of steam, running out of puff. Um, and it's starting to get dark. I'll have to turn my light on. There we go. There we go. It's probably seeming better now. Um, so yeah, uh, like I said, I'm running out of steam. It's starting to get dark in here. I have got lights, like a lights on. Um, yeah, look, I think I'm starting to get to the points of most of the, the cabinetry stuff is almost complete, like it's almost done. Um, and I'm just making things look Pretty. I'm at the I'm I'm at the stage where I start to make things start to look pretty. Um, so I'm putting edging in and which is all of that stuff there. I'll be running another one all along there. Um, you know, I'm putting up the final bits of uh, roofing. Um, I just need to screw in those lights. Uh, those. Uh, screws a little bit more um, I've got another piece that I've got to go across here um, I've got those two lights in which is pretty good uh, I've just got to start putting some of the edging stuff around here uh, I did notice that down in the bottom corner it's still a little bit damp though the top part isn't anymore uh, at least I don't think so. No, it's not. So I think it might be there's a window that's further down because there used to be a bench seat across the front here. Um, which I'm going to turn into just a regular door 
or like a hatch just for the outside so I can just store ropes, chains, stuff like that for the, the hitch at the front. Um, but yeah, I think it might be coming through there so I'll have to uh, address that at some point. But yeah, it was it was nice having lunch in here today. It made it start to feel a little bit more real. Um, yeah, there is a lot more in here than than the the last setup was. Like the last setup was very simple. This is this is uh, becoming very very full on like look at all that you know that's that's a full kitchen like that's that's almost like a full house kitchen well it, it was a full house kitchen and then there's going to be a, a toilet well there was never a toilet in here before uh and sink there's a sink in there as well as you've seen uh you know there's there's 12 volt lighting there's going to be 12 volt water it's it's having a hell of an upgrade and yeah look it's it's cost me a little bit but not heaps like this has been relatively cheap like I could easily turn this around this caravan and sell it uh, I don't know five thousand bucks as is and yeah look it would <laughs> yeah let's, uh, I, I'm I look I, I'm blowing my own horn here I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with the the outcome so far uh, uh, the only thing that I have to build structural is the the cabinet over there uh, once I've got that cabinet in um, I think I will we'll be able to finish off the bathroom uh, a little bit nicer um, more sort of uh, more sort of uh, complete type thing at the moment I'm a little bit on hold because I've still got to do all the plumbing and the plumbing is is hard to do when things are complete uh, so I will do the plumbing first and then which I've got I've got some of the stuff here already I can I could probably start to do it um, I just need to get a couple of like angle pieces for the piping that I've got um, and then uh, build that cabinet so and then get a water storage type thing I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet I was thinking originally getting one of those uh, rolly tubs putting water in it but I just don't think it's gonna last long long time yeah I don't know. Um, so but I have seen on the the Facebook marketplace uh, people selling uh, like uh, olive containers they're basically just big water drums uh, that they they shipped olives from I don't know, somewhere overseas and they've shipped them here and then they're selling the the the, uh, the the drums off for like 10 bucks each so I was thinking maybe getting two of those um, they'd, they've got two different sizes they've got a small one and then they've got a bigger one so I'll get one bigger one one small one the small one will sit up in the cupboard for hand washing brushing teeth stuff like that uh, and then the big one will be in the uh, underneath the, the kitchen sink uh, which are, then I'll have to plumb in the hot water which I still have to buy and I've got to plumb in the toilet again still have to buy it those things are quite expensive um, the hot water cylinder, um, what's it's not a cylinder, it's a, like a hot water uh, system that runs on gas. Uh, it's $149. Um, here's a picture. And then uh, the toilet, I 
think was roughly about the same price. Um, and I think it was one of those ones that may go into like an underside um, poop bucket <laughs> thing, uh, which you can then just go and empty it uh, at like a, like a drop off point type thing. Um, so yeah, but I've got my little shelf up here and you put my arm, oh wow, uh, and my bench seat's done, I, I just need to put some hinges on the front and then um, just tidy up all the edges and whatnot, uh, and yeah, my, my bench seat's done, uh, and then all I need is... Uh, the base for uh, my table, which I won't cut in just yet. I've got the base, it's out in the backyard, um, but I won't cut that in just yet uh, because I'll wait until I've got the, the welded stand that Ollie's gonna put together for me. Uh, oh, he's putting it together uh, because I don't have welding skills and he does it every day, all day as a job so I figure he's the best man for the job. Um, what else? What else? I, I think this is it. I think I'm just gonna wrap this up. Um, I've finished for the day. Um, I'm happy with the stuff that I've done. I've done a lot today um, and I've made a lot of progress. Um, yeah, sorry for all the arms. I, I wish there was a way I could sort of, you know, not, um, yeah, so that's it. Cool, 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 cool. cool.